Last week, we arrived in Nassau after being in Spanish Wells for a bit. Today, join us as we take advantage of being in the harbor and attempt to finish land-based chores in record time. Thank you for watching, and if you enjoy these videos, please click that subscribe button if you haven't already. Today is going to be a super busy day. We need to get fuel, which is literally right there. We're going to get groceries, laundry, and you go to the marine store. And then we're going to move back to West Bay so we can do diving and be in a pretty bay. It is so hot here. We're dying. But, and the water is just not as pretty. So. Here's to hoping we can move by 3 p.m. It's 8.30 now. Everything, well, laundry's gonna take forever, but I think we can do it. Okay, we have all of our bags, laundry, not too much. These things are a full process. So, like on land, you just get in your car, you go get groceries. We have to get in our dinghy, find a dock, walk, carry all the bags, like a few blocks. And then laundry, we're lucky enough to have friends in the marina right now. So, we get to do laundry in the marina versus walking half a mile but I need to get the detergent this needs cleaned and then I have to get the rest of the stuff from their boat Today is going to be exhausting, but we're motivated. Christmas time. <laughs> Mine delivered. <laughs> Thank you. What? Loading up the goodies. Going in. <laughs> One load done, second load done, third load almost done, and wash time. We're so efficient today. Yeah, we like, are. It's only 10 15, and we're on a roll. Mm. <laughs> Still smells like diesel. This towel does for okay. sure, but that's fine. It's only the stuff that was literally covered in diesel. Stuff. So it's been 10 minutes since we did all the wash into the dryer. We have our clothes in the back of the dryer already hanging. We didn't film it because we're on a roll today. So now we're going to get marine stuff and food.
to fill up the boat enough to get me to the fuel dock. Hundred dollars later. Okay, just dropped Taylor off with all the groceries. Hilt needs 19 socket set for his engine because now their starter's bad. Um, never ends with boats. So I'm giving him every 19 I have. And then I'm gonna go get 10 gallons of diesel. So then we can make it to the fuel dock. And then hopefully our laundry's dry. Yeah. I carry all these and tie the dinghy up. I think there's six pieces there. Some are literally on my fingers. Look like it's gonna work? Yeah. I brought you every 19 I had. Nice one. Stoked. Getting it done. Gallon jerry can. I need 10 gallons. My boat's right there, but it's out of fuel, so I wanna do 10 gallons. I'm gonna bring the big boat over. I am so tired of my windlass. I just had to pull the whole thing up by hand pretty much from 20 feet. <sighs> like the depth is 20 feet. This windlass is so bad. But we're getting fuel now. The anchor's still hanging down there because I was like, it's not gonna drag. It's not gonna hurt the boat. I'll get the rest up because we're in a busy channel. And I'm about to get fuel. The engine's running great. Everything's great. I just want to get over to the nice bay, get some fish, get in the water. It's so beautiful out. We are out. Yay! <laughs> oh, it is. What time is it? 1.40. 3? 2.30. 2.30. We started laundry at 9.30 and five hours later, we've done laundry, we got fuel groceries we raised the anchor which probably took the longest amount of time but now we are on our way to some beautiful water and, and hopefully some big fish. some big fish because we have not had fish in two weeks yeah, yeah. our life is really rough <laughs> Are we surprised? It has been three weeks, two weeks, two and a half weeks since autopilot has not behaved, but it's back to not behaving. I've recentered the rudder a few times um, since we've been out here, but it's only a two hour motor, so it's not really too big of a deal. Do it when I get there. I have so much to do these next few days, or next week. Number one is windless. I raised half of it by hand today, like literally pulling the chain and then doing my safety clip. I'm not doing that anymore. And me to catch fish, darn. And uh, fix the wind gin. Put new bearings in it. Uh, figure out what's wrong with the engine. What we can do to fix and fix the problem for you. Okay. I am opening up some things I got from Florida. Y'all are so great. Thank you. This is a string light, solar powered, some hard drives so I can keep videos coming to you. I totally ran out. Um, just some boat cleaning stuff and a bunch of other goodies. Thank you guys so much. I am speechless. Um, yeah, truly speechless. Thank you so much.
Like, I have no words. First things are from Mari Pro. Some hats. Some stickers. Super cool water bottle. This is so light. That is amazing. And then some amazing foul leather gear. This is so great. Link for them is in the bio. They definitely helped me out with sales and I got my bow thruster, my windlass, um, quite a few things from them. So definitely check them out. Links below and yeah. I just received my Salt Life shipment. Here is one of the tank tops. They, oh my gosh, this shipment of tank tops has made me, like, I'm so excited. There's so many cute, like, everyday tank tops, not just, like, I am wearing one of these that's, like, my typical whatever, but there's so many cute tank tops um, out on Salt Life right now. Don't you agree? Um, anyway, you know the sunglasses I wear are Salt Life, and yeah, um, I do work with them. The link is below if you would like a little discount, but honestly, like you're going to see a lot of the tank tops from Salt Life in the next few videos because I am so excited. Um, definitely check them out. Link is also below. Hey, you... You're gonna fall over. He's rubbing it like it's a wall. <laughs> that would have been hilarious. Mako, uh-uh. Yes, I see you. You're caught. Hi. Hi. Hey. We have just finished cleaning. We've been here for about two and a half hours and we are going to get in this water and just float and decompress after today. What did you just oh. do? Hey, what did you just do? I just washed <laughs> that whole thing, Mako, and washed all those dishes. Mako, what did you just do? He. <laughs> We're just trying to get dinner ready. Like, just. Figuring out what veggies we have and don't have, and which ones to use first, and, and Mako's litter box sitting outside to air out. Wow, it is <laughs> now outside. it is. Oh, it's so gross. Inside, because he 
knocked it through the hatch. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, please don't knock your litter box in again. Yeah. We are getting settled and finally getting more time underwater. Check back in next week or today on Patreon to dive in with us for a little bit. Thank you all so much for watching and I appreciate the support so much.